What's up, everybody? It is Dee Ferg. And it's your girl, Keys. And welcome back to the Teak Life Basement Bar for another episode of Fired Up, where we try something that is going to just burn our mouths. Okay, He's now... He's trying to set me up. It's his, uh, this is new. I'm telling you, this is, you do, is one of up. the hottest sauces on the planet. I don't believe you. Of Uranus. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's, it's not. But this is a show where we like to try either a hot sauce, a barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. or a salsa. Yeah. So if you got something that you want us to try, make sure to reach out to us and we'll tell you how to do that at the end of this episode. Yes. But today we are trying El... I'm going to murder this. I'm are gonna, you? I know because I can't... I can never speak Spanish. But El Yucatico El Black Yucatico. Label I messed up Reserve <laughs> Chili Habanero Sauce. Oh, okay. hey. That is a long one. But it this is, is this is a black label reserve. So you. so to me, black label means like the cream of the crop, right? Oh. If you go to a black label event or It's no, like being black. take life approved, you're up there. It kind of is. Yeah. So, what would you say? How would you describe? Let me shake it up. Scary. Why? <laughs> Why does it look scary? Look at because it. Look how the... dark it is and it's just it's not inviting at all. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. But it's like it has to scare you to prepare you. Like, oh, it's going to be so spicy. You know how they do. Well, you're the one that did the hot chip or the one chip hot challenge, whatever it's called. Yeah. And you just like smashed that, that little bad. crumb. Yeah. You had that little crumb. It was crumb. more than a crumb. It was more. It's not. It was I was a G crumb. about it. I it was, it was, you were like, let me, it was like let a, me take that more. Like, a, like two, three crumbs. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a warrior not you are. Dangerous. So this is a dark and smoky habanero hot sauce, hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. Hot sauce <laughs> with mild heat. It. So it's mild heat. Oh, okay. It's only nine thousand on the Scoville unit scale. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, this That'll is like good. nothing all day. Because the other ones are like um a lot more. Mm -hmm. But there's there's gonna be a twist with this. There's a surprise that I I, I forgot to tell you in in He's pre all. Do you guys notice this pattern? It's always a surprise. There's always a surprise. It's never like, hey, this is cut and dry. Oh, I have something else you didn't know about. <laughs> There's no cutting and drying in this episode. Trust me. So it's going to be smoky. Okay. It's going to have a smokiness to it. Um, it's going to be very prevalent. And it's good for grilled meats, so like barbecue meats, um, grilled veggies. So anything barbecued, I think this would go really well with. Mm -hmm. We are going to pair it today. And okay. as we do, you know, moving forward, we're going to pair it with something. So... I thought a good oh. pairing would be Stranahan's whiskey. Okay. Have you ever had Stranahan's before? Never. I've heard of them, but I've never had them. So they come, you know, with this really cool. That's really sweet. Like this that. is what you're going to get. Can, can, can you, I fill it up? Yeah, I'm going to fill it up and maybe spill it. No, no I'm you're not going to fill it up for myself. I don't think you're a G like that. You can't handle it. I am part. not. I'm not going to hold you up. <laughs> Stranahan's is a Colorado whiskey. Um, they use water from the Rocky Mountains to oh, distill their whiskey. Very fancy. Very fancy. It's aged two years um, in charred oak barrels. So the char the, the charred oak barrels is going to give you a smokiness. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would pair really well oh, because this smokiness. is a smoky. So it's almost like this is we're, we're, we have a we're barbecue on fire. theme. We have a barbecue <laughs> theme. We have like a Mexican Colorado yeah. barbecue theme going on. So it's handmade small batches. So um, I this think, is a small batch. Yeah, this is a small batch. So so they only make a limited amount, and it has a number of the batch on it. So oh, what? Yeah. So that's so cool. Look really how you cool. Make this is, guys. It's two times distilled. Um, you're gonna get some cinnamon butter, some vanilla, some chocolate caramel, uh, some spice pear. Chocolate caramel spice. Pear. Yeah. So it's gonna be lovely. And the finish. Always something new. Here's the finish. Maybe a touch or. a taste of cayenne so see we what? have spicy smoky and I feel my inside spicy oh my smoky God. this is what i do so this is not the normal thing you'd pick up to like wash down something spicy i don't i don't know but th th this <laughs> is a people go for like a water or something i mean <laughs> water is the worst Wa it's like, water is the worst for anything It's spicy. like chasing with vodka. <laughs> you want Stranahan's to chase it down. So let's get some pours going on. Um, you know, what did you want? Like a full glass? Like eight ounces? He's going to take the full glass. I'm going to take, let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I want you to give that one. Got to smell uh, it first. Uh, you got to smell it. You got to see if we see? pick up any of those Gives chocolates. You, that chill. you know, I wanted to put it in shot glasses because... You know, we're not doing a lot of it. I smell chocolate. I do. 
It smells good. It's very appetizing. I'm ready for dessert. Are you? Well, this is dessert. Right here. Do you ever do that when, when they come over at a restaurant and they're like, would you like dessert? I'm Absolutely. having dessert. Oh, no, I'm always going for more. I'm a drinker. I'm an eater. <laughs> this, this smells wonderful. It smells very smooth. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, so I don't know how you're going to do with it. It is 94 proof. Okay. A little stronger, but it doesn't smell. Little pregame going you on know, here. So cheers to El Yucatan. Yucateco? Mm hmm. Mm, that's pretty good. It is pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, I get the chocolate. I taste the chocolate. I, I'm looking for the caramel. Um, I think the caramel was a little bit up front, but I do get more of that. No chocolate. caramel's like aftertaste. Boy, that's really that's pretty that good. That was good. That was good. Mmm. All right, so that's a good pairing. Let's get down to it. So what's the surprise today? Another surprise. You guys are listening. This right? is the surprise that's that like I two wanted. In one episode. <laughs> We're using oh. Tostito scoops. Okay, I like Have scoops. you ever had a scoop? I love scoops. They Beautiful. have Chipotle flavor too. So that means, and shout out to Tostitos, thank you for the chips. We are going to pick a scoop and we're going to fill it up. Is that your surprise? That's a surprise. Oh my god. So you said it wasn't strong. It's only 9,000. We can handle that. No So that big means deal. we can swim in it like Kendrick Lamar. This is a swimming pool. <laughs> we're going to fill it up. That's what we're going to do. Drink. No. So, El Yucatico. They have been in business since 1968. Priamo Gamboa, mm -hmm. founder, owner, started it as a small business. And they were creating habanero hot sauces, mm -hmm. you know, selling them, and it just exploded. You know, they started to merchandise, distribute, and now they are they're available in US, oh, in, in Europe, awesome. in Asia. And one of the reasons why I picked this one, and, and you can find it anywhere. You can go to your, your local grocery store and you can always find this one. But they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Oh, really? Which is really cool. So we wanted to celebrate with you. That is awesome. When you've been in business that long, it's, it says something right there. I mean, there's not many businesses that have been in, yeah. know, around and growing and becoming more popular. Because you can truly find this brand. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. I go to a lot of different restaurants um, and I see you it all the time. That? Absolutely. Like, I, I see it. The, you know, they have several. There's a bunch of different ones that they have. I wanted to do this one because since it's the 50th anniversary, Grand Label Reserve. Right. You know, so let's let's go with this one. But this isn't the hottest one. Oh. There is one that's hotter. Well, we're going to be the judge of that if it's the hottest. <laughs> well, you're going to swim in it, so <laughs> we will see. Are you ready for the pour? I'm never ready, but let's go ahead. All right, let's get our pour ready. All right, so I'm going to give this to you. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> what? Stop. <laughs> smells. Oh, it smells so good. It smells good. It smells smoky. It smells smoky. like. Uh, I mean, it does have Peppers. some spices. It smells so good. We're you can get drink that. I don't know. <laughs> you know, go ahead. You you said you were gonna drink that bottle. I will. Let's drink the bottle. See the bottom of the bottle. We're gonna fill it up. I'll fill it up. This is. Pretty thick. It is. Oh boy. <laughs> she really. Can you guys see this? <laughs> I filled it up. That's great. Oh I boy. I was just kidding, actually. Oh, were you? I really was, but you know. Hey, when in Rome, you know, do you? You better fill up yours too now. I got just it. kidding. Look, here, I'm gonna pour. Watch. I don't see anything coming out. Oops, out. Stop. You used it all. <laughs> oh, I guess you did. Right, so the habanero. I have like a whole soup bowl over here. <laughs> You're Are good. we even? Are we good? One more. No. <laughs> this is this is torture. The things I do for our teak life. Fans. Yes. All right, I I think I totally got more than you. You sure? It's ridiculous. Well. <sighs> Before we do this, let's talk about the habanero. Yes. Yeah, what like do you know about the break. habanero? I know it's spicy as hell. It is. What do you know about it? It can be. <laughs> it, it can be. It's a hot chili pepper, so it can be very spicy. And mm -hmm. what I thought was really fascinating is, as they mature, it changes color. Typically, a habanero you see is orange or red. Right, right. But it can be. It also can be other colors. So white, brown, yellow. The coolest one. I'd love to be able to find this. What? Purple. 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 Where? If you saw a purple habanero. They make them. 
well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, not I mean it's not like colors. a factory. Yeah, but like, you know, <laughs> they make them. It, yeah it's, it's a GMO. Purple infused habanero. But no, I think it would be really cool. Like, if you found a habanero pepper that was purple, mm -hmm. I, I would smash that all day. Would you? Yeah, and see what happens after. Oh, I'd die. We'd never, <laughs> like, it would be done. But, you know, I mean, just to say I ate a purple habanero, how you cool would that You could say that. You'd be gone. <laughs> you know, it would be cool. But the habanero can go either from 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville unit scale. Oh, so that's the scale. and we're at 9,000? We're only at 9,000. Oh, we can drink this? Come on. That's oh, worth it. You know, we're going we're gonna to eat the whole thing. I have to taste it first. All right. Wait a minute. How are we going to do this? Are we going to do right, the whole chip? Thinking. How are we going to do this? I'll, I'll let right, you decide. Chip. I'm just going to sit here and just like look Forget up. Forget it. Let's just do it. Why not? We're gonna do this. All right. Right? Are you right. saying grace? You got a will? I don't. But yeah, you um, have a will. mom, dad. This is evidence <laughs> on Sisters, film. Mom, brother. dad, you get all her dad. I have a lot of people I love. All right. <laughs> Cheers to living. <laughs> to live. <laughs> Very smoky. Mm -hmm. Very hot. It's not the initial, it's the after. Mm, swallow it. It's always the after effect. It's so good though. It is very good. There is a lot. Damn. <coughs> it's, I want more. It's like one of those things you're not supposed to be eating, but. That is really good. That was really. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe and eat more. <laughs> that call, was really good. Call 9 1. I'm not gonna fill it up that much. That's really good. It's got a lot of good flavors to it. Um, my eyes watering. Yet? So one of my things is when I, when it's something when it's really hot, mm -hmm. it's, You're... it's pretty spicy, but it's not overpowering hot. I'm scared to do this. But I start but... to hiccup. So if you ever see me start to hiccup, you know that shit is hot. That's terrible. That's pretty good. Spice on spice. I like that. That is El Yucateco. That's pretty good. I'm going to buy this. I think I'm going to do another one. So, the largest producer of the habanero pepper. If I start crying, I'm not emotional. This <laughs> is <It's just> really <laughs> spicy. It's like you, you need some Kleenex. So, the largest Come producer <laughs> of the habanero peppers is in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. Yucatan, El Yucateco. Mm, ah, okay, you're pretty there. smart there. I see what you did there. I, I, I'm I, onto you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I, I can't make this shit up. It's real. El Yucateco, so we like it. I mean, pepper approved? For sure. You alright? You gonna make it? I want more, but it's like, stop, but it's so good. I'm gonna do one more. Got a lot of great flavors. This is... Dangerously worth it. This is something that... Is not overpowering as far as heat. It's well balanced. For him. I would say for barbecues all day long. This this would be phenomenal. Make some barbecue chicken nachos. Ooh, that would enchiladas. be enchiladas. Pour it over there really quick. Be phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I, I like it. it. I love it. It's, and it's like it has a spice, but overall it has a good flavor, and that's what's important. Yeah. Spice is obviously what we're here for. But the flavor is really what, you know, sells it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think the pairing with like Stranahan's is really good, too. That's my personal opinion, though. I think the Stranahan's... I pair it with water, but, you know... Water makes it own. worse. <laughs> water spreads out the that. capsaicin. So it's like it's going to spread it out and you're, it's, it's going to be fire. And so. my mind is working. <laughs> I don't know about that mind. <laughs> so... Anyway, I think it's pepper approved. I say pepper approved for sure. So you gonna do some more? I really am actually. I mean, we 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 killed a good amount. It's like do one, eat a plain chip. All right, so let's sign off. We're gonna eat all. We're gonna eat the rest of this. So make sure to follow us on social media, and if you want to contact us to review your hot sauce, your barbecue sauce, 
or your salsa or your spices like a meat rub or anything yeah. like that. We'll barbecue. We one love day. to eat. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Look at me. I love eating. And I need to catch up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go to teaklife.com and use the contact page where you can do all of that. Yes. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Also comment, tell your family, your friends, all about the teak life. Are you living a teak life? I don't think they're living a teak they life. They can be living a teak life. They need to live a teak they life. They need to live a teak life because you're missing out. You are. We'll see you soon. See you later. Bye. Teak life.